everyone. For those who might not know me, my name is Emily Purcell. I am the Director of Religious Education for St. Peter's. I wanted to give a brief update for what we have in mind for the upcoming school year for religious education at St. Peter's. For now, for the time being, we have decided that religious education is going to take place virtually. We do not feel like we would be able to let everyone meet in person and be able to guarantee safety during this coronavirus pandemic. So for right now, lessons are going to take place at home over Zoom. Of course, we will be monitoring the situation and if things change, we would love to start meeting in person again. And so we would let, we would keep you all informed if that were to become a possibility. But at least for now, to begin the school year, we are going to be meeting virtually over Zoom. Now, our Archdiocese has developed their own curriculum called Families Forming Disciples to actually try to encourage as many parishes as possible to do this virtual learning. They put out Families Forming Disciples to help us to make this um, as easy as possible of a transition. Now, with families forming disciples, it's going to be different because uh, every grade, pre-K through 12th, is going to be receiving the same lessons. Now, the reason for this is to encourage families to participate together. So, like I said, the lessons will be completed over Zoom. Each month, there will be three weeks worth of lessons. Uh, weeks one and three will be the Zoom lessons. So for those, say you have multiple children, if you have maybe a child in third grade and also fifth grade, you can basically choose because you are participating as a family. We are encouraging families, parents to join their children on these Zoom lessons. So maybe week one, you choose to join the, the uh, third grade class and then maybe the third week lesson you join the fifth grade class and that would be perfectly fine because you would be receiving the same lessons so that way it's going to make it slightly easier to try to uh, manage having multiple children that sort of thing so um, like I said there will be three weeks of lessons the second week there will be a brief activity that you are supposed to complete as a family. So the second lesson of the month, there will be no Zoom meeting. So just weeks one and three, there will be a Zoom meeting. And of course, everybody will receive a calendar. So you will know when you're expected to log into Zoom and you will receive links to Zoom. And we will do that primarily through Remind so that you will receive the unique link each week to join the new lesson. Um, this year, it's going to be different in that middle school and high school will also be meeting Sunday mornings. Now, lessons are going to run from about 9.30 to 10.30. They'll be a little bit shorter. And we understand that some people might be either coming from mass or going to mass, and you might be concerned about having maybe enough travel time if you live a little bit further away. If you need to duck out of class a little bit early or maybe join slightly late because you are um, coming, coming from Mass or going to Mass, we completely understand, so don't worry about that. Um, we know that there are going to be, we're going to have to be a little bit flexible because this uh, working from home situation is just different. So, um, like I said, everybody pre-K through 12th grade is going to be meeting Sunday mornings now, 9.30 to 10.30. Now, uh, if you have children set to receive sacraments this year, that would be 10th graders going through confirmation or 2nd graders uh, receiving the sacraments of First Reconciliation and First Communion. That will be different, and so you will be receiving separate information about that. So this information this morning is primarily about prep, normal uh, Sunday, Sunday school. Um, there will be a reduced fee this year. We will be asking $20 per student 
as opposed to 35. We're reducing that because we are not going to be purchasing physical books since we will be having online lessons provided by the Archdiocese. Uh, we're saving some money there, but we do need to purchase enough Zoom hosts to facilitate these lessons. And so um, that's, that's where the $20 goes to. So $20 per student. We will begin registration on August 23rd, and we are strongly, strongly encouraging online registration this year. You'll be receiving a link to that through Flocknote um, in the next week or so when that goes live. Now, if you absolutely must complete a physical form, we will have some prepared um, in Manila folders waiting in the parish office. You can pick one up during normal office hours, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3.30, and complete those. But we are strongly encouraging, if at all possible, please register online this year. Um, our plan right now is to begin prep on September 13th. And so you'll receive more information in uh, the coming weeks once we have everything set in stone. Now, this is a bit of a work in progress for, because it's so new and we are actually still in need of some catechists for this year to make this all happen. Now, as always, we do not need you to be an expert in the field. We just need people this year willing to facilitate these conversations among families. You will receive the PDFs of the lesson plans from the Archdiocese and will be there to facilitate these conversations among families over Zoom. You would be needed two weeks a month and if you think you might be interested in helping out this year, please contact me as soon as possible. My email address is epurcell at stpeterslagrange.net. That is also going to be available in the letter that I am going to be sending out with all of this information because I'm certain there's some things I've forgotten. But uh, you'll be receiving a letter with this information that I have been talking about. And then as we get closer to that September 13th, you'll be receiving more details um, once this is all finalized about how this is going to work. So please feel free to ask me any questions you might have. Like I said, my email address is epurcell at stpeterslagrange.net. And I appreciate everybody's flexibility this year. I know this is completely unprecedented, but we're going to make the best of it. And I appreciate everyone's help. Thank you.